Oh, and look at it working down there with the pistons. That is too cool. Crossing arms are down. Watch out, what would you do if you're at a train stop or like a little stop like this and you just heard them coming you're like, man, there's gotta be a big train coming and then just this little hand cart just shoots by. Oh, that is one of the smoothest trains I've ever seen. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic and today is the trains special. I like trains, I'm pretty sure you like trains if you clicked on this video, and boy have we got a treat here today. We've got several different trains, several different train systems, and the good thing is, if you want to download anything you see in this episode, it's all going to be linked down in the description. Also, I'm going to go ahead and link my Discord, uh, we're going to be doing some really neat stuff on here very soon, I'm kind of refocused on that, I know I kind of, I want to say I got a little lazy with it uh, the past couple weeks, but... I'm refocused on that, so if you want to join that, we'll be doing some discussion of games and all that other good stuff. And one last thing, I do want to thank you guys for the 200,000 subscribers. Uh, we will do a little bit of rambling about that in today's video, but I will have an official update coming up here really soon. But anyways, if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let's jump right into this. Oh boy, okay, so right now I have three different train systems. I don't have all the trains spawn because trains in Scrap Mechanic are a little bit laggy, but uh, you can see we've got a set of tracks here. I've got a station over here, which we're going to build onto this during the episode. Uh, so yeah, we've got a train, actually I think this is a full-blown mod here. Uh, we'll probably go over this one last. I've got a micro train station, which this was made by Joe Train Gamer, and I felt so bad that I couldn't get this into the uh, micro city, but you guys are going to be amazed by what he's done here, because he's got probably one of the coolest like modular train pieces uh, in his workshop, and he's got just tons of them, so you can make about any track that you can imagine. So, we've got that, and we have this behemoth. Uh, this is a monorail. And this is cool. So we're gonna start off here at the monorail station. We'll go over the monorail, and yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and get the lift out here. All right. So this is by Ross B. Now this is a work in progress monorail station. Uh, this looks pretty cool. So he's got the monorail station on one uh, piece here, and he's got the train. Uh, he also has in his workshop. He's got the single, the straight pieces. I didn't see any turns yet. Hopefully that will be something in the future because if he can get turns on this monorail, this is probably one of the nicest trains uh, slash monorails that I've seen in Scrap Mechanic. So, uh, let's check this out here. Now, I've been debating. I, I know I'm looking for like a new theme to do and I know the word train has popped up in transportation. You know, this uh, stuff like this would be really cool to have in a big map and just have a complete train line going around it. Kind of like the old town and... Wow, this station is nice looking. It's like a got a really modern look to it. Uh, you've got chairs set in here. So you walk out on the platform. So what's S and S? I don't know what that stands for. I guess just station? Uh, so yeah, you've got that. Now, as far as the train system itself, this is probably one of the bulkiest like lines I've ever seen. Uh, normally the rails and stuff, uh, they're kind of single wide or maybe double wide, but this thing is massive. And it's kind of cool because it's got these little uh, cracks in between so you can easily separate this track and prevent lag. Now as far as the train itself, this thing, oh this is gorgeous. Wow. Uh, I can see the doors are a little freaked out at the moment. Uh, we're about to cut this off its caution block and check this out and see what it looks like when it's on the track. Alright buddy, don't fall on my head. I'm trying to see, what do we got going here? I see thrusters. Okay, so it's got these little wheels and these guide along the top and you've got these uh, side guide wheels that I'm assuming, do these spin on? Oh, these are free bearings. So this whole thing is basically powered, looks like by thrusters. Okay, I got you. Not bad. Alright, let's go ahead. We're going to need to cut this whole thing. Let me get a block out here. You're going to see some obscure mods in my uh, inventory here. Uh, this is one of the things that it took some uh, pretty unique mods to run. Uh, let's go cut, 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 all the way down. All right, I'm going to release it. There we go. All right, did the doors close? The doors are still a little freaked out. We might still have to reset the whole train itself. Uh, let's jump up in it, though. And Oh, that fits perfect. Uh, is this... Oh, 
Okay, you know, those are all a little glitchy. I kind of wonder if maybe I need to reset this train. Now, if I reset this train, will it set right back on the rail? I'm assuming it will. Uh, let's see how easy this thing is to place on the rail itself. Is that lined up? Let's go ahead and put that down. Oh, yeah, that looks good. All right, boom. Oh, that was easy to set. Okay, so... Now, uh, they're still freaking out a little bit. Now, do keep in mind, this is a work in progress. Uh, let's enter in from the back real quick. Let's go here. All right, so this is the rear section. Close that door. And what's what's this? Whoa. Is that just a side door? Oh, there's so many things in here. Okay, there's a light. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, it's a monorail, so I'm assuming we can go either way. I'm assuming there's a driver's seat. Okay. I had to <laughs> kind of get used to that. I was like, wait. The driver's back here? Or the conductor, engineer, whatever you want to call him. I know I always call it the wrong thing. Alright, so you got that. Uh, what is this? Oh. Oh, this is nice. Okay, we'll uh, we'll get into this and actually start driving it around here in a minute. But check this out. Wow, you and a ton of friends could ride around in this thing, no problem. And you know, it's actually a quite awesome, the whole fact there's not much lag here. Like, this feels buttery smooth, so I, I'm i pretty sure you and your friends could possibly drive around in this. Uh, this thing's gorgeous. Alright, so is this another, okay, this is another cart here, you got like a little bathroom section. Uh, keep walking through here. Uh, what if I, if I just hit this, does it just open the one door? Uh, let's see, there's something in the logic that's freaking out a little bit. Uh, walk through here, nice, okay, you got your little logic set up up through here. What was that? Wait, what was that? Oh! Well, whatever I just did there, it feels like it just fixed all the doors. Oh, you can hide the panel, too. You can hide all the logic. Okay! So we're good. Uh, let's go up here. I'm assuming this is where the... Okay, it's where the driver is. Let's close that door for privacy. Uh, let's close the hatch here. Alright. We're ready to go. Let's go ahead and let's play with some buttons. What Actually, what does this look like? Oh, this is cool! Wow, the cockpit's really nice on here. Alright. So... Hmm... I know there was instructions, but Komodo doesn't follow instructions very well, so... one. Okay, that's forward. Let's go ahead. Okay, forward and back are one and two. What is... Uh, what is... Okay, I'm seeing the arrows there. What are we doing? Oh! <laughs> We're opening the doors. Oh, you can open either side. Alright, let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Okay, so you see the green doors. So, boom. And then we can hit it, so we can close the other side, close the other side here. Alright, that's cool. I'm assuming it's lights. Uh, I'm assuming a lot of these are probably interior lights. Yeah, I'm seeing stuff light up on the inside now. There's our main door there. Alright, there's our side door. Cool. Alright, now question is, how smooth is this thing? Let's go ahead and go forward. Oh, that is one of the smoothest trains I've ever seen. That works like a charm. Uh oh, slow down. You know, I probably should have laid out some more track. Uh, let's watch this work from the bottom. Yeah, look at the guide wheels. Oh, that works so well. Oh, I love this. Man, if you could do turns with this, this is so nice. Alright, so we just pulled in the station. Oh, I think, did we just hit the back? Okay, so we just hit the thing in the back. Man! You know, I kind of just want like a huge straight section, like from one end of the map to the other. Uh, what happens when we derail? Uh, you know, I've got to try that. Here we go. Whoop! <laughs> oh, 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 that was a mistake. That was, alright, mistakes have been made. That, oh, that's bad. Uh, okay, I probably shouldn't have let this hit the ground. Oh boy, I'm paying for this. Alright, I'm gonna get this up in the air again. Oh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? All right, we're good to go. Let me go ahead and set this back up on the, uh, uh actually, do I even have it on my lift? Uh oh, uh, let's grab you here. Yeah, that's uh, the one good thing. This train is so easy to set up. I think I actually have it. It's just not appearing. So let me go ahead and toss it back here. There we go. Lower it down and boom. Good to go. That is awesome. I do want to thank Ross for sending that over. Uh, do keep in mind, still a work in progress, so no telling what he's going to do with this next. Uh, if I had one suggestion to uh, Ross himself, uh, on the workshop, it doesn't list the mods, and he's got a couple obscure mods in there. It's not all your standard Durf and uh, Lord Payne mods. There's actually a couple in there that are kind of one-off creators. 
Uh, so if that's like the only critique, if you want to add those in there, uh, and if you guys want to download that, uh, the only mods that I know that are a little uh, obscure or something that you typically don't use, there's like a wood mod in there, and there's a, I believe, a modular traffic light mod in there, and then you've got your standard uh, Durf and uh, Lord Pain mods there. But anyways, I want to thank you for sending that over, and let's jump into the next creation. Alright, so you guys remember the recently deceased Micro City. Uh, I shouldn't make a joke about that because I do miss the Micro City, and I'm kind of sad that it ended. Uh, it didn't end quick. We actually got a lot out of it, but I still had a couple more plans, and one of those plans was putting another train system in. Now, this is by Joe Train Gamer. Uh, he has built a couple things in the Micro City that we used. Uh, we had like stores and several other buildings, like a power plant, but he had been working on this train system. And I must say, this has got a lot of parts to it. So this is just the station itself. And you can see uh, Komodo America, the evil corporation, is back. But yeah, this is just the station. You can see it's ready to go. Very detailed. I must say, it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, as far as the rails, uh, you've got two uh, train tracks ready to go here. Of course, you got the platform. Even the nice little parking lot here. And then you have like the little crossover bridge here. But yeah. This is like a little train toy set thing. You can pretty much put this together however you want. So let's go into the work or my lift here. I was going to say the workshop. I've already gotten it from the workshop. And let's go down. Now check this out. All of these pieces that you're seeing here on the left side, these all go to his train system. You got stuff from junctions, crossovers, turns, about anything that you need for a train, like a full-blown train track, uh, you've got it here. This is absolutely fantastic. So this is all really easy to put together. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to spawn in. Oh, that's kind of a small straight piece. Do we have anything bigger than that? Pretty sure we do here somewhere. There's a 28. Uh, let's go ahead and spawn in some of these 28s here. So, here, 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 boom, 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 okay, oh, getting a little bit of lag in here, it's not liking all these setting, it should, uh, it should settle out here, I'm gonna go ahead and get my, uh, weld tool out, I'm gonna weld some of these to the, uh, the tracks, kinda show you guys how this works. Alright, let's go ahead, start connecting tracks, this is so easy to do, like, this is, uh, something where, if you had all these ready to go on the lift, you can, uh, you can pretty much create a train system fairly quick around any map. Uh, granted, it is a micro system, but the good thing about micro systems is, well, there's less lag. Uh, so it's not nearly as uh, some of these big trains. And even though they're gorgeous and I love the big trains, they do get really laggy, especially if you try to spawn multiple trains in. But here, I'm pretty sure we can run several at once on this system. So we got that. Getting a little bit of bounce here. So I'd probably uh, do another connection maybe here. And I was doing this in the micro city. So let's go ahead and drag this up uh, let's get another straight piece here I'm pretty sure this thing can hop tracks uh, all the other trains that I've dealt with they pretty much none of them have issues hopping tracks and when I say hopping tracks uh, having these little gaps here uh, that way it uh, helps with the lag on the track itself so there we go I'm gonna build a little uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do a complete loop I, I might try to do a complete loop here but yeah, I'm going to play around with some tracks, and then we'll spawn in a couple trains and uh, see what it's like going around this uh, little micro train system here. Alright, folks, I think we finally have a complete line. This only took about 15 minutes to set up. It's a pretty basic line, but it does utilize a lot of the pieces that Joe Train Gamer has in his workshop. So, we're going to go down the tracks here. A little bouncy. I'm a little concerned about that, but uh, I think it'll get better. So, we go over here. Now, this is where your first little uh, junction is, and he's got this little box over here, so you can change where the track goes. So, if we want to go straight, we'll have it like that, but obviously we need to make a turn here. So, we'll activate that. So, it's going to turn right, right here. And that's what's so cool about this, because you can just go straight. You can have so many different little rail lines, and that is awesome. So, we're going to go down here, uh, make another turn. And then we're going to come up, and I'm going to actually make this thing, uh, instead of just go straight, I'm going to make it chicane here. So, we'll have to go left, and then we'll have to go right, and then there we go, that looks good. Alright, so we'll go forward. Now, he's actually got a rail crossing piece, and I don't know if I hooked this up right, I believe. Oh, obviously, I think I just did, I think I just tripped it. Alright, oh, that's so cool! 
Okay, so the way this works, he's got an activation piece and he's got a deactivation piece. And then you've got the rail crossing itself. So you activate this by, you. I think this, what is this, a sensor? So you activate this by hooking the sensor up into, I believe, the green logic gate. And then the deactivation, you hook it up, it's right there, into the red logic gate. So when I trip this one here, yep, there it goes. That is too cool. All right, so now here's the question. Does this work with one of the trains? Obviously it should, but uh, you never know. All right, so Mr. Joe Train Gamer has the, I think it's the QRDTT. It's a remake of an Australian or Queensland train, a diesel tilt train. Never heard of that. But uh, yeah, this is actually pretty cool. This is one of the bigger micro trains that I've seen. That is a lot of passenger cars. So... We'll see if this thing's laggy. It's got its controls here. You got horn lights, warning lights, uh, fans. Uh, what's the fans for? Uh, passenger lights. I'm assuming it controls on like W. Uh, ooh. Okay. Um, how do we set this on the track? Is this? Uh, how do his trains work? Huh. So. Oh. All right. So you got this like little knob piece here that actually slots down in between the rails. So that's kind of uh, acting as its guide, and then these top wheels actually drive along with it. That's quite a few bearings. All right, uh, let's see. What happens when we go bloop? Oh, ho, ho. oh, a little laggy. All right, we might have to go to a smaller train or cut off some carts here. That is a lot of bearings. Wow. Okay, let's see if this thing settles out. Sometimes Scrap Mechanic gets a little bit better uh, once we start moving. So let's hop into... Oh, look at the detail. That's what the fans are. You can see them right there. Wow. That's cool. All right, let's hop into this real quick. Are we going to get some of our frames back? Uh, let's try easing forward. It's a little bit better. All right, so we, we're probably going to go to the smaller train. Let's go ahead and just test out this train's features. Uh, let's back it up just a bit. You know, it gets a little bit better once you start driving, but this is a, this is a lot of carts. I'd probably only have like two passenger carts and then the rear. Uh, but yeah. You got a horn, you got your main lights, uh, is that your, oh, that's your warning lights there, so you can see it flashing back and forth, uh, so that's when you're coming up to crossing, okay, I just turn the fans off, and then, okay, let's, uh, let's try driving this, uh, I do apologize about the lag, but let's get going, gets a little bit better once you, uh, actually start to move, so the question is, is my train system, is it okay? Oh, this is so neat. This is actually, it's really smooth as far as the train itself. Uh, the carts in the back, sometimes on the, uh, some of the other trains, the carts would start to sway really bad. Uh, here's its first test, okay. Got over that just fine. Alright, not bad. This is actually a gorgeous train, by the way, too. I really like the way this looks. And yeah, this is starting to run better uh, the more we go. Alright, so here we come up to the turn. How smooth is that transition? Uh, it's getting a, getting a little wedged here. Okay, let's cut, try to ease through this corner. Come on, buddy, you can do it. This train is really long. Uh, let's go ahead. Let me back up, and then let's see if we can get forward. Uh, come on, come on. There it goes. Yeah, it just takes a little bit of rock in here. I'm pretty sure anything with less carts, this would uh, get through a lot smoother. But still, this train though, this uh, the detail, the way this thing looks, it's amazing. All right, so, ooh, I'm a little concerned about that chicane up there. I uh, kind of hope we get through that. All right, here we come up to the chicane. Oh, uh, boy. Yeah, this would be neat to have this rail system on a big map and just have it everywhere. I don't know if there's an elevation piece. That would be kind of cool to see, like, a ramp piece. Maybe you can go climb up a mountain and then just build, like, a huge bridge or something. Uh, that would be awesome. Or maybe, like, a modular bridge piece that actually has some supports ready to go. Uh, that would be amazing, just shooting that across, like, two mountains. And, oh, here we come up to the train crossing, so... There they go. And the bar should be going down right there. Uh-oh. Oh, we came unhooked a little bit. That, uh, that last little bin there. Oh, yep, it unhooked the front of the train. Well, obviously, it does work. Let's go get the, um... Let me go ahead and deactivate this. Actually, I think it's setting on the sensor. Uh, let me go get the little bit smaller train here. That way we can have a bit of a smoother ride. All right, when I was saying train, I'm talking about a train hand car. 
Now, I was built several more uh, creations for this track uh, by people using the same system as far as trains. Unfortunately, I don't have access to that channel on my Discord uh, where I can grab some more of the uh, older or some of the trains that were built for this track. Uh, but we got a little hand car here. I thought this would be kind of neat to use uh, on this map. So let's go ahead and hop into here. Oh, no way. That looks so cool. Oh, boy. So yeah, we got our little hand car. This actually works good too. And what's that spinning down there? Is that just like helping keep it, I guess, guiding it along the tracks there? All right. Yeah, let's uh, let's get over to the other side and see what this looks like going through the crossing. There we go. Crossing arms are down. Watch out. What would you do if you're at a train stop or like a little stop like this and you just heard them coming? You're like, man, there's got to be a big train coming. And then just this little hand cart just shoots by. <laughs> That would be amazing. And there they go. They just deactivate it with the sensor. That is an amazing system. I do want to thank Mr. Joe Train Gamer for sending that over. I do apologize about not using it in the micro city itself, but still a fantastic system uh, for anybody that wants a, a micro, a little less laggy train. I know the, the one train was pretty laggy, but uh, say if you had a smaller one, this would probably be your best bet. But anyways, we are ready to move on to the next thing. All right, so the next system here, this is actually made by several people, and there's several people that contribute to this whole, the trains and the tracks that are coming in. Uh, I know some of them are by Alex the Nerd. Uh, we have, I can never say his name, it's X-E-S-A-U, and I think I even saw uh, possibly Mr. Croca's name thrown in here somewhere. Uh, everybody seems like they've been building different things, but this is a full-size train system. Now, they're using this, uh, they have this own little, their own little train mod here. And, uh, check out these rails. I'm kind of curious. Are these rails, is this all separate pieces? Or is this a whole piece? Hold on. Alright, so you can see the rails here. Can I cut? Okay, so I can cut that. I can cut, okay, so that's one piece there. And then, is the wood one piece? Okay. Alright, so this is like a new mod on the workshop, and it makes it to where you can build really, really detailed rails. Like, those look fantastic. I know what some of the trains they were building before, uh, they were just kind of using some of the mod packs and making their own little, uh, what's a custom rail, but this is like a full-blown 3D model. Uh, that is really, really cool looking. And I do like the gravel, too. Uh, that looks nice. Uh, now, unfortunately, I didn't see any turns for this yet, so... Uh, with these full-size trains, we don't actually have a turn. Uh, another thing is, I did check out one of their trains not too long ago. I wonder, if, do I still have it on the lift here? Uh, I think I still have it somewhere. Uh, it was a black steam train, but they have another one here. This is a USATC S160 locomotive. Uh, I believe they have some more detailed information here on the uh, just the workshop itself. But check that out. Now let's spawn this. Boom. That is gorgeous. I love trains. Uh, I like all sorts of trains. Modern trains, old trains. Like I can't get enough of trains. Uh, unfortunately with Scrap Mechanic you've got your limitations when it comes to running a bunch of trains. Uh, but hopefully that will get better because to me that's like the ultimate world. If you can have a full sized uh, train world in Scrap Mechanic, wow that would be amazing. All right, so we can uh, drop this down. How's this rail system work? So it's got these pegs that come down. Uh, a bunch of free bearings here. How is this thing propelled? Is it just the... Okay, is it just the engine hooked up to those up there? Huh. All right. Let's go ahead. We're going to set this on the track. Now, this does have a hooking system, too. Uh, I think I showed last time I showed the trains off. I showed off some of the passenger carts. And he's got some pictures of this on the workshop. Uh, you got a hooking system back here that you can hook passenger carts up to and just look at that that is so glorious looking setting on the tracks with the mods as far as the track pieces and just the way the engine in itself looks I love steam trains alright enough with the the loving of the trains let's see what this is all about real quick alright free bearings you got like the little coals I'm assuming it's the coal section right there uh, now there is something cool you're seeing that floating in the air this thing uses I'm assuming it's the I think it's the uh, Durf Invisible Blocks, I want to say. And, yeah, they're invisible right now, but I guess as soon as this thing starts to go, it'll actually pu puff out, like, I guess, pixelated smoke. Uh, let's go ahead and let's hop into this. 
Uh, if we can get some turns with this, this would be cool going around the map with too. Um, oh, how do you climb up in a train like this? Uh, you know, let's use the lift. My scrap mechanic character is a little on the short side, so let's get up here. Hop in. Oh, boy. Man, I, this would be so... I guess it... I don't know if this was a real actual awesome job back then, but this would be like something awesome to get to do. I would love to ride on one of these. Uh, you can see back here, you got coal in the uh, little coal cart. And then you got some down there. There's lights. Okay. Hmm. You know, I feel like we can do this standing up. I don't think we have to sit in the seat. Uh, what's this? Is this like a... No. That's not connected. Okay. We got a one and a two up here. Uh, let's, let's hit some knobs. Let's go. Boom. Nope. That just... Okay. That lit up the... Uh, I guess the... They call it a furnace? <laughs> what do they call that? Uh, whatever it is, they lit that up. Is this the horn? Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I guess we have to be down in here to actually make it go. We'll be kind of neat to hook these up to uh, like a button and... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's too cool. All right, let's go. Oh, the uh, the smoke will change directions if you're going forward or backwards. All right, so say if we turn it around. Oh, that is the coolest train and scrap mechanic officially. Wow. Oh, and look at it working down there with the pistons. That is too cool. Man, I kind of really wish I set up more track. Yeah, if we can get a turn, oh, that would be awesome. Even if we could just hook up maybe a couple of passenger carts. Uh, like the monorail, this would be something really cool for you and your friends to jump into. And you can uh, kind of just drive around with your friends. They can be riding in the back carts. Kind of curious, could we make this work in multiplayer? Could you imagine like a, a train robbery challenge or something like that where we have to drive up to a train, maybe hop from cart to cart? Oh, uh, this is uh, this has got a lot of possibility, folks. This is something to definitely watch out for because uh, this has got me all excited here. I'm, I'm having fun just going back and forth. I could probably do this for a long time. And just the amount of detail. Yeah, this is a very, very fantastic creation. Now, question is, did I miss anything on this? I believe I pretty much covered it all. Uh, let's hop out one more time here. Let's pull out that lift. There's no other... Is there any extra buttons? Oh. No, okay, that's not hooked to anything. Button, 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 button. No, I think that's it. I think I pretty much covered this one. Something there on the side. Oh, actually, it kind of kept the, the steam out there. Or the smoke. That is amazing. Work of art. Yeah, they're, uh, they're already working on another train. I've seen some of the, uh, the pics in the Discord. I'm really excited to see that one, too. But anyways, folks, that's probably going to about do it for this episode, this little train special. We had uh, three very cool trains and train systems, from the micro train to the monorail to this epic steam engine. So, like I said, all links are down in the description. If you guys have any suggestions for our next world, co do comment below because we're still in the discussions for doing that. The build I'm coming out with this weekend is kind of a one-off build. It's just a revisit of an older build. But yeah. Hope you guys have a great day. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. Be sure to join that Discord down in the description. And we will see you guys next time in Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.